হ্যালো শুনতে পাচ্ছিস হ্যালো আচ্ছা স্পিন দেখতে পাচ্ছিস ওকে আজকে তাহলে আমরা টেক্সটটা শুরু করব মার্ক অন দা ওয়ালের ইন দ্য প্রিভিয়াস ক্লাস আই হ্যাভ গিভেন কাইন্ড অফ ইন্ট্রোডাকশন টু ভার্জিনিয়া উলফ দি অথর অফ দিস স্টোরি আই উইন ইট ইজ ইট ইজ রিগার্ডেড অ্যাজ আ শর্ট স্টোরি তো the author of this story is virginia wolf and um, i have uh, given a kind of short introduction uh, to this renowned author she is um, as i have uh, already told you that she is among the literary giants of the british literature yeah uh, she is one among them and uh, virginia wolf Uh, wrote this story uh, at the height of the first world war okay first world war er shomoy ei story ta uni likhchen ask ha chhote wale in selection hmm so during the first world war uh, virginia wolf wrote this story and uh, the war touched the lives of english citizens as uh, germany uh, began uh, strategically bombing uh, england in 1915 okay so we can say that uh, first world war was going on okay uh, at the time of the composition of this story and um, england uh, actually uh, began cons uh, i mean uh, uh, began a kind of uh, campaign and where uh, it it sends its citizens to uh, the war and মানে এরকম একটা ম্যান্ডেটারি ব্যাপার আছে ওই দেশে যে ইউ হ্যাভ টু ইউ হ্যাভ টু পার্টিসিপেট ইন মিলিটারি ট্রেনিং ম্যান্ডেটারিলি সো সেই জিনিসটা কিন্তু ইংল্যান্ডে তখন লাগু হয়েছিল ইন নাইনটিন সিক্সটিন ওকে উইথ মিলিটারি সার্ভিস বিল service bill it it was uh, executed in uh, 1915 okay uh gone uh, actually england began conscripting its citizens to be soldiers and um, wolf depicts the influence of the war on uh, private citizens in this story jodi amra jodi ho ei story ta niye oneke onek rokom motobhed ache kintu amra eta on the whole on a broader sense we can assume that uh, she actually was worried about the impact of uh, the first world war uh, on the citizens Okay. And uh, additionally, uh, in the early 20th century showed a drastic change in social norms. 
okay social norms technological development um, and uh, the confluence of citizens in uh, urban areas মানে ইন্ডাস্ট্রিয়াল রেভলিউশন তখন হয়েছিল সেই জন্য সমস্ত সিটিজেনরা আরবান এরিয়ার দিকে ঝুঁকছিলেন আর কি অ্যান্ড মুভমেন্ট অফ উইমেন্স রাইটস দিস ইজ দিস ইজ অ্যানাদার ইম্পর্টেন্ট থিং মুভমেন্ট অফ উইমেন্স রাইটস so uh, and this uh, played a, a vital role in us work okay um, one of the central roles women's uh, liberation and all those things so ei somosto je jinish gulor impact amra kintu mark on the wall e motamoti bhabe dekhte pari so আমরা একটু শুরু করি পারহ্যাপস ইট ওয়াজ দ্য মিডল অফ জানুয়ারি ইন দ্য প্রেজেন্ট ইয়ার দ্যাট আই ফার্স্ট স লুকড আপ অ্যান্ড স দ্য মার্ক অন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড সো ইন দ্য ভেরি ফার্স্ট লাইন শি ইজ টকিং অ্যাবাউট দ্য মার্ক অন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড in order to fix a date it is necessary to remember what one saw so now i think of the fire the steady film of yellow light upon the page of my book the three chrysanthemums chrysanthemum in the round glass bowl chrysanthemum is uh, the name of flower because is is a kind of flower in the round glass bowl uh, on the mantelpiece mantelpiece hocche bolte parish je fireplace ta thake fireplace er upor je gaiden thi mane to bolo muti ka na ha ki bolchis ei gaiden thi mane to chandram chandramulika ha it's a kind of flower you know chrysanthemum hmm फायरप्लेस ফায়ার প্লেসের উপর একটা ফ্রেম থাকে আর ওদের সে তো সব জায়গাতেই ফায়ার প্লেসটা ম্যান্ডেটারি বিকজ অব দ্য এক্সট্রিম কোল্ড এক্সট্রিম কোল্ড ওয়েদার ইয়েস ইট মাস্ট হ্যাভ বিন দ্য উইন্টার টাইম অ্যান্ড উই হ্যাভ জাস্ট ফিনিশড আওয়ার টি ফর আই রিমেম্বার দ্যাট আই ওয়াজ স্মোকিং আ সিগারেট ওয়েন আই ডুক টপ অ্যান্ড সো দ্য মার্ক অন দ্য ওয়াল্ড ফর দ্য ফার্স্ট টাইম this is a story by virginia ulf so we cannot expect a set plot here thik ache kono rokom event ba plot ekhane expect na korai bhalo ebong and from the very outset this story is uh, grounded in domestic scene jekhane bolai hocche je amra just cha khechi tar pore ekhane boshe chilam so this is a domestic scene at the very outset of uh, this story abhi aaj ke tarikh hocche koto 26 so the story begins uh, with a domestic scene from the narrator's past so there is a narrator ekhane dekhtei pacchis যে আই বলে কাউকে একটা বলা মানে কেউ একটা কথাটা বলছে আই সো হি ইজ দ্য ন্যারেটার হিয়ার ইজ আ ন্যারেটার অ্যান্ড শি ইজ আ ওম্যান হুইচ সেটস অ্যান্ড ইমিডিয়েট কন্ট্রাস্ট টু দ্য ডিরেকশন অফ হার থট মানে অ্যাকচুয়ালি শি ওয়াজ 
talk she was thinking about the first world war she was thinking the impact of war on the people but she is now describing a domestic scene so there is a contrast between her thought process and the setting of this story her military association uh, with fire ekhane dekh fire er shonge military ekta association ache karon hocche jekhane uni bolchen je so now i think of the fire the steady film of eno light upon the page of my book okay uh, page of my book the three chrysanthemums uh, in the round glass bowl on the mantelpiece um, so actually uh, she is talking about fire and uh, a kind of uh, we can uh, see oh, i mean we can assume that um, this fire has a kind of connection uh, with uh, this war okay fire destroy uh destroys everything and war also theek ache so and and his this first um, appearance of the mark happens here uh, yes it must have been the winter time and we had just finished our tea for i remember that i was smoking a cigarette when i looked up and saw the mark on the wall for the first time so she is talking about the appearance of the mark on the wall uh, i mean not the appearance but uh, the mark on the wall uh, uh, is noticed by her uh, self for the first time um, what is the time he, he, she she is talking about the time and this mark is actually uh, is a kind of distraction i looked up uh, looked up through the smoke of my cigarette and my eye lodged for a moment upon the burning coals and the old fancy of the crimson flag flapping from the castle tower this is uh, this is a war image crimson flag flapping from the castle tower came into my mind so this is a war image hmm came into my uh, mind and i thought of the cavalcade of red knights riding up the side of uh, the black rock acha ei je cavalcade bolche na eta hocche marching of uh, soldiers thik ache marching of soldiers cavalcade of uh, red uh, knights riding up the the side of the black rock rather to my relief the sight of the mark interrupted the fancy so this interruption uh, caused by uh, the mark on the wall was necessary for her because war is uh, war is uh, associated with destruction okay war is associated with destruction so destruction or ruin or uh, something like this ei je war er kotha ta je ghure ghure narrator er mone asche it is not really uh, soothing or not really comfortable for her so this mark on the wall serves as an interruption uh, of that thought interruption to that thought for it is an old fancy an automatic fancy so what is uh, the automatic fancy an automatic fancy fancy regarding war made as a child perhaps the mark was a small uh, perhaps then she is describing the mark the mark was a small round mark black upon the white wall about 6 or 7 inches about about the mantel piece but we must remember that this story is not about uh, the 
story is not about the mark on the wall कॉन्स्टेंट constant mention of that mark on the wall but at the same time she says that this is a kind of interruption to her fancy to her fancy regarding wall so uh, actually this first appearance of the mark demonstrates both her desire for uh, distraction distraction or interruption what you may call uh, and uh, her attempts to reconstruct this the past okay it is a past from from the very childhood she was thinking of war why she was thinking of war because of the destructive uh, potential of the war war onek kichu chiniye niyeche तो सेटार एक रिकनस्ट्रकशन जो होते सेटार के भलो तो किचू हतो ना बाट शी इज कन्सटैंटलि डिंग फर दैट रिकनस्ट्रकशन अब द पास बाट शी एंड एट द सेम टाइम शी वान्स अ कईंड अफ डिसरपन और वान्स अ कईंड अफ इंटरपन टू हार थट रिगार्डिंग वार एंड दिस मार्क इज अ कईंड अफ interruption or distraction of that thing uh, uncomfortable thought how readily our thoughts swarm upon a new object okay so she is uh, concerned about the thoughts how thoughts work how readily our thoughts swarm upon a new object lifting it a little way and and scary a blade of straw so feverishly feverishly and then leave it okay hmm. so uh she is uh, surprised or she is uh, concerned that how uh instantly uh, our thoughts actually change their uh, direction as a new object is found okay and lifting it a little way as ants carry a blade of straw so feverishly and then leave it if that mark was made by a nail it can't have been uh, for a picture it must have been for a miniature the miniature of a lady with white powdered curls powder dusted cheeks and lips like red carnations so her reflections on the mark reveal how difficult it is to understand the full history of something i mean just by observing it uh, so uh, deciding that the mark was too large to have been left by a nail the narrator actually ponders over uh, now uh, she is uh, trying to uh, i mean uh, concentrate uh, on the on the mark what is uh, what it actually is and she said that if the mark was made by a nail it can't can't have been for a picture it must have been for a miniature the miniature of a lady with white powdered curls white dusted uh, powder dusted cheeks and lips like red carnations a fraud of course for the people who had this house before us would have chosen pictures in that way so she is concentrating on an old picture for a, a, a picture the miniature of an lady she is concentrating on that picture the miniature of an lady with white powdered curls powder dusted cheeks and lips like red carnations mm. so uh, she is uh, 
uh, now uh, talking about a picture okay uh, leaves like red carnation carnation um, is a kind of uh, i say flower or uh, 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 carnation is a is a uh, is a kind of flower you get the pink flower or red flower is uh, is the name of a flower so um, she uh, thinks that how readily the thoughts of uh, a, a person can change its direction okay uh, change their direction uh, and um, now uh, powder dust dusted cheeks and lips like red carnations a fraud of course for the people who had this house before us would have chosen pictures in that way an old picture for an old room now she is talking about the picture of a lady that is the sort of people they were so the form and now she is talking about the form, people who formerly lived there uh, that is the sort of people they were very interesting people and i think of them so often in such queer places where mane hocche adbhut ar ki something strange such queer queer places because one will never see them again never know what happened next so she is talking about the uncertain uh, uncertainty of human life because she does does not know what happened to the uh, happened to the the for the people who formerly lived there they wanted to leave this house because they wanted to change their style of furniture so he said that he was in process of saying that in his opinion art should have ideas behind it when we were torn asunder as one is torn from the old lady about to pour out tea and the young man about to hit the tennis ball in the back garden of the suburban villa as one rushes past in the train so her reflections on the mark reveal how difficult it is to understand the full history of something so just by observing it however human lives are uh, defined by um, loss okay human lives are defined by loss even objects as valuable as jewels disappear now her reference uh, 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 and subsequently we can we can see that uh, and change okay change they wanted to leave this house because they wanted to change their style of furniture so change is uh, they wanted to change everything so they wanted to leave okay so, so leaving signifies change in life so he said and he was in process of saying that in his opinion art should have ideas behind it when we were torn asunder okay torn asunder mane hocche ekdom bhenge pora thik ache ekdom chinno bhinno hoye jawa um, as one is torn from the old lady about to pour out tea and the young man about to hit sorry uh, and the young man about to hit the tennis ball uh, the tennis ball in the back garden of the sabavan villa as one rushes past in the train hmm. okay but for that mark i am not sure about it so she is not sure uh, how this mark was created uh, i don't believe it was made by a nail after all uh, so she is uh, she is certain that uh, it was not made by a nail okay it's too big too round for that i might get up but if i got up and looked at it 10 to 1 i should be able to say for certain before once things done no one ever knows how it happened so her thought is rambling okay uh, rambling here and there 
সো উনি ভাবছেন যে আমি যদি এখান থেকে উঠে যাই উঠে ওই ফ্রম দ্য ক্লোজ আই আই ওয়াচ দ্যাট মার্ক আই ক্যান টেল হোয়াট মার্ক দিস ইজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি বাট শি ইজ নট গেটিং আপ ফ্রম গেটিং আপ ফ্রম দ্য চেয়ার ওকে বিকজ ওয়ান্স থিংস ডান নো ওয়ান এভার নোজ হাউ ইট হ্যাপেন ও ডিয়ার মি দ্য মিস্ট্রি অফ লাইফ সো she is thinking about the mystery of life the inaccuracy of thought the ignorance of humanity to show how very little control of our possessions we have what an accidental affair this living is after all our civilization let me just count over a few of the things lost in our lifetime so uh, she is thinking about the losses okay what she actually loses uh, okay uh, and mystery of life mystery of life so uh, let me just count over a few of the things lost in our lifetime beginning from that seems always uh, the most mysterious of losses what cat would know what rat would nibble three pale blue canisters of book binding tools so she is talking about uh, book, book binding tools uh, she had lost then there were the barred cages the iron hoops the steel sketches skates the queen and coal scuttle the bagatelle board the hand organ all gone and jewels too so these are very i mean uh, paltry possessions okay paltry possessions and uh, through the uh, through their uh, restriction uh, she actually uh, highlights how uh, insignificant our life is opals and emeralds they lie about the root of turnips so uh, she is now talking about the uh, the valuable jewels okay uh, and emerald and uh, i'd say um, hello acha uh, opals and emeralds both of them are valuable jewels Okay. Uh, roots of turnips what a scrapping pairing affair it is to be sure the wonder is that i have any clothes on my back that i sit surrounded by solid furniture at this moment why if one wants to compare life to anything one must like any to being blown through the tube at 55 50 miles uh, an hour so she is now uh, comparing the life uh, to a tube okay uh, tube at 50 miles an hour landing at the other end without a single hair pin in one's hair shot out at the feet of god entirely naked tumbling head over heels to the asphodel meadows like brown paper parcels pitched down a shoot in the post office with one's hair flying back like the tail of a race horse horse yes that seems to express the rapidity of life the perpetual waste and repair so life is full of perpetual waste and their repair
also casual, also haphazard. So her deflection, um, I mean her reference to the tube displays a particular uh, ambivalence towards technology. Okay. Technological advancement hoche tar against the uh ambivalent attitude at the narrator and contemporary attempts to control nature and construct uh, efficient industrial lives. So uh, actually she network uh, problem with that এখানে আসলে খুব বৃষ্টি হচ্ছে তার জন্য হতে পারে হ্যালো হ্যালো হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ বল হ্যালো হ্যালো হ্যাঁ বল হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ শুনতে পাচ্ছি বল হ্যালো 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 শোনা যাচ্ছে Hello? Hello? Shona Jatshi? Shunta Bhatshi? Yes. Hello? Hello? Kichu Shona Jatshi? Kichu Shona Jatshi na? Kete Jatshi? Aasa, I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean... I mean... पता कुछ कैटे जाते हैं भाई तो आह देखिए कोर्ट बो अच्छा अच्छा आमी अलग बार हाँ हाँ हेलो 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 हाँ सुनते बच्चे स्क्रीन टिक It is full of chaos. Okay. Eva Shundra Chief. Hello. Ah, Eva. Ah, hmm. But after knife, so she is here uh, comparing knife with a tube. Okay, tube at uh, for 50 miles an hour, landing at the other end without a single hairpin in one's hair. So, uh, she is talking about technological advancement. 
um, uh, and she is uh, talking about what we may call the a kind of uh, ambivalent attitude talking with an amb ambivalent attitude about this technological uh, advancement okay so uh, acha After, but after life, the slow pulling down of thick green stalks so that the cup of the flower as it turns over deluges one with purple and red light. Now, she is concentrating on the, uh, I'll say, uh, after life. What happens after life? Life is over. What happened after life is over? The slow pulling down of thick green stalks so that the cup of the flower as it turns over deluges one of the purple and red dye. Why after all should one not be born there as one is born here? Helpless, speechless, unable to focus one's eyesight, groping at the root of the grass at the toes of the giants. As for saying which are trees and which are men and women and or whether there are such things that one won't be in a condition to do for 50 years or so. There will be nothing but spaces of light and dark interested by thick stalks and rather higher up perhaps rose-shaped blots of an indistinct color, dim pinks and blues, which will, as time goes on, become more definite, become I don't know what. So, she is talking about what, how uh, a, a man's, how a human being um, starts uh, his or her life. Okay. So she is talking about uh, after life, what happens after uh, after the this uh, uh, what actually uh, becomes of the man when he dies. Okay, so uh, she is talking about this uh, after life. Um, and at the same time, she is, she wonders if uh, the afterlife um, is like uh, the uh, starting of uh, of um, this uh, this life. Okay, a, a life is starting. Jokun hai, tapun ki hai. We we are helpless. We are speechless. We unable to we, we are unable to focus on one's eyesight all these things groping at uh, the roots of the uh, grass at the toes of the giants okay a a a hote thake helplessness speechlessness a guno these mark the uh, these mark the uh, start of the night of our life. So she is thinking about the mystery of life and afterlife both. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But, um, and she, at the same time, she is thinking about the mark also. There will be nothing but spaces of light and dark, intersected by thick stalks, and rather higher up perhaps, rose-shaped blots of an indistinct, sorry, indistinct color, dim pinks and blues, which will, as time goes on, become more definite become I don't know what. She is thinking of uh, the indefiniteness of life. 
Okay, well, one cannot really uh, define life uh, as it is. So, life is full of uncertainties, life is full of uh, mysteries. Okay, and after life too, one doesn't know what actually happens after life. Life goes over. And yet, that mark on the wall is not a hole at all. Again, the mark on the wall, she is thinking uh, uh, various things and uh, at, at, uh, at, an in, at intervals, she is uh, talking about the mark on the wall. It may even be caused by some round black substance, such as a small rose leaf left over from the summer and I, not being a very vigilant housekeeper, look at the dust on the mantelpiece, for example, the dust which so they say buried Troy three times over, the only fragments are of pots utterly refusing annihilation as one can believe. So, uh, she is certain, also certain that the mark on the wall is not... Um, a hole. Okay. Kono gorto ba eidharone kichu noy. Mark on the wall. Okay. Uh, uh, shona jatche na tai to? Kichu shomu shomu shomu. Hello? Uh, shona ekto ekto ke tiketa aske. Ekto halka ke tiketa aske. Ekto alke ekto aske kono kumla kumla aske. Aho mane kuch aske aske aske. Ki hoyche? मान क्लस समस्या ठीक है हम्म 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 हम्